the splendor of the great American tradition, the annual running of the Indianapolis 500. The sound of burning rubber, the roar of Indy cars racing at speeds of 220 miles per hour. Over 30 of the most highly tuned, top performing vehicles in the world. But there's something different about this year's race, something unique, something revolutionary powering the cars of the Indy Car Series. And you know what? It's probably powering your vehicle right now. There are some days where you might feel like you're in a race. You're in a race to be somewhere like work, picking up the kids, or wherever hundreds of thousands of commuters are driving to on American highways every day. You have something in common with all of these people. You're driving cars powered by gas made from fossil fuel, most of it imported from the volatile Middle East. If you look closely at the pump you fuel up at, you might notice something a little different. This sticker indicating that there is a fuel additive, an additive that can change the way you think and feel about what powers your vehicle. It's a clean burning fuel additive that can greatly improve the performance of your car. Oh yeah, it can also reduce our dependence on foreign oil, keep the air we breathe clean, all the while adding a boost to America's economy. Know what I'm talking about yet? Ethanol. The positive impact ethanol has on vehicle performance is so profound, the Indy Car Series will be fueling their cars with 100% ethanol starting this year. So what does your car have in common with an Indy Car Series vehicle? If you look closely, you'll see that your car, as all vehicles are designed to do, can run on a 10% blend of ethanol. Not only is it good for your vehicle, it can improve your car's performance. But there's so much more about this American-made fuel that's fueling the interest of the country. It doesn't start at the pump, but rather on the farms across America's heartland. This bag of seed corn will plant over three acres of corn, delivering over 450 bushel. That 450 bushel of corn will develop 1,200 gallons of ethanol. All across the Midwest, faint rows of green begin pushing up through the earth. Spring represents a time of renewal in America's heartland as millions of acres of corn is planted. Some of the corn planted this spring will be used to produce the American-made renewable energy source, ethanol. The once tiny seedlings become towering stalks of corn as spring becomes summer. Then summer gives way to fall, and the full-grown stalks give way to harvest. Combines cut and pour what amounts to billions of bushels of corn across the country. About one-fifth of the total corn crop in the United States will be transported to ethanol plants across rural America where the highly refined process of ethanol production begins. The process of producing ethanol and its byproduct, which are distillers' grains, is a simple process, been around for a long time, been around for hundreds of years. The trucks pull up to the scales at the production plant and leave their grains of gold that will fuel our future. With a moisture level of about 15%, the corn is ground up in a hammer mill where it is turned into flour and then put into a slurry blender with hot water, yeast, and enzymes, and then fermented. After about 60 hours in fermentation tanks, the starch of the corn becomes sugar, then the alcohol and mash is separated from the water. The byproduct, distiller's grain, is shipped off to feed yards. What's left? 200 proof, high performance, and clean burning renewable fuel, ethanol. The process has become so highly refined, 
there are virtually no toxins and pollutants emitted from the production plant. All of the water used is recycled. See that fog coming out of the smokestack? Well, it's just that, steam. The environment remains unscathed in the production of ethanol. Is there enough corn in America to support the production of over 5 billion gallons of ethanol a year? The answer is yes, and as the demand grows, ethanol producers will be able to use other materials from farms, not just corn. In a process called cellulosic ethanol, corn stover, leftover stocks that were produced uh, from the year before, are actually available to be produced into ethanol as well. Though this process is, is new, uh, it is very promising for what ethanol can be in the near future. The Indianapolis 500, one of the great American pastimes. Every year in the late spring, tens of thousands of race fans descend on the Brickyard. It's one of the most popular events in the United States. So why is the Indy Car Series trusting their vehicles to run on 100% ethanol? Well, because years of research and testing have proven fuel enriched with ethanol outperforms regular gasoline in the key performance categories. Ethanol is an oxygenant. So it burns cleaner and cooler and at a much higher octane rating than regular gasoline. And it keeps engine parts clean, free of corrosion. Ethanol making a huge splash in the Indy Car Series as cars race at speeds around 220 miles per hour, performing better than they ever have. Ethanol, so reliable and performance friendly, it's being used by the Indy Car Series. But is America ready for ethanol? It's environmentally friendly, creates energy independence, and it keeps billions of dollars right here in America instead of going overseas. The positive performance characteristics of ethanol make it an ideal alternative. And all vehicles are manufactured to run on fuel enriched with 10% ethanol. So, the answer is yes. Ethanol as a consumer fuel isn't just going to fuel our future, it's fueling our country right now. Ethanol. <laughs>